There's a bug on my curtain, but I guess I'm gonna let it live until after this unboxing. back to my channel. New friends. Hi, welcome. My name is Veronica. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell mostly on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, sometimes on Depop, The Real Real, and also ThreadUp. I do have a slight ThreadUp addiction. I love ordering ThreadUp rescue boxes and unboxing them on this channel, and I'm not the only one. I have a few friends who are also very much addicted to opening different boxes from ThreadUp. And today I'm collabing with a bunch of them on this ThreadUp Funbox unboxing, where we're going to compare the different uh, locations where ThreadUp ships these boxes from, these fun boxes. Usually everybody wants a fun box from Pennsylvania. Uh, mine came from Arizona, which is usually uh, not so great. And Georgia, I think is kind of in the middle. I don't, I don't think I've ever gotten a fun box from Georgia, but I could be wrong. So those are the three locations that um, ThreadUp ships from. And we're gonna compare who got a better box, if there's any difference based on location between the different boxes. Um, Anytime I've done this before, I, you know, noticed that the Arizona boxes, for me at least, were not that great and the Pennsylvania boxes were much better. So a little bit worried about this Arizona box that I have here. It's very light, um, but we're gonna dig in and see what's in there and how much fun is in this fun box. And then you should definitely check out all the other videos. Now there is eight channels collaborating on this. It's more than eight people. But um, the reason we started this was my friend Janet, Janet Adams from Happy Hour Haulers. Her and Bryn, they unbox a lot of these boxes and whenever the thread up boxes, the fun boxes and such go up on the website, Jenna texts me and lets me know that they're up. Usually by the time I click and go to the website and try to order one, which is like two minutes after she texts me, if that, they're gone. This time I snagged one and so we were all like, oh my God, yay, uh, let's do a collab. And then, you know, she just rallied the troops and figured out that there were so many others who also ordered a ThreadUp fun box during the week of, I think, July 24th through the 30th, so last week of July. And so we all are collabing together on um, these fantastic boxes, hopefully fantastic boxes. Now, we're not all releasing the videos on the same day. We're gonna release two videos a day, so two different channels, and all the channels will be linked below. And once all videos are up, I will definitely update also my description and put all the links to the videos in there so you can enjoy them and let them know that you came over from my channel. If you're coming over from any of their channels, let me know which one. And yeah, say hi in the comments down below. I hope you will stick around, subscribe, uh, and like this video. And let's get into this box. I did take off the uh, label so you guys don't see my address. As I was taking that off, the tape came off too. So, All right, so let's open her up polka dot paper. We love it. No sticker. And it looks like a whole bunch of cozy stuff in here from my initial uh, impression. I do think the Arizona boxes are a little bit more random. The Pennsylvania boxes are usually kind of uh, on, on a certain theme or topic. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So I got a scarf of some sort, Kathy Lee collection and it's nothing special. It's made in Italy, but it's polyester, and it is just a houndstooth scarf with this uh, whatever pattern. It looks like it's from a museum, basically, you know, like the walls in a museum. Yeah, don't know if this uh, sells for anything, if there's a market for this, how much fun this is. If you want it, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Um, I got some masks from Gap Kids, which uh, is not a bad thing in general. I could probably use them if my kiddo ever has to mask up again or wants to mask up. I will say I have a bazillion masks for my kiddo. But yeah, this one says good vibes. There's like a floral one in there. There is a tie-dye one. Um, I don't know if this would resell. Not sure. I mean, I feel like we're at this point in the whole pandemic where people tend to not wear masks anymore. Be that as it may, don't know. Okay, what's this? Small box. Something gold, something, something for women. It just says that on here. I don't know. You can see that. It looks like a stitch fix sort of little thing. Okay, the brand is Meveco. Meveco Unique Beauty. 
And I'm gonna guess it's a necklace. Oh yeah, it says that on here too. It's 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 a blue that's almost like the blue that you're not supposed to mention from that fancy store. But anyway, it's not exactly that. Okay, it's I think it's I don't know if it's a necklace or an anklet. It looks like it's probably more like a bracelet or an anklet because honestly, I don't think it's that long. And I think it's actual gold. Wait, maybe not. Oh no, it says on here, what is gold fill anyway? So it's not actually gold, which I also don't expect. I don't know if there's a market for this. I've never heard of the brand. I'm not a jewelry person. I know some of my collaborators are jewelry people, so they may be able to tell you more about this. Okay, now I got a coach wristlet and I have no idea if it's actual coach or not. So I'm going to ask Glamour, who's also in this collab, but it's the Signature C coach. It's like a patent leather. And I remember Glamour doing a video on coach versus coach where she goes about, you know, where she tells you all about whether it's real or not. Uh, it's made in China. There's like nothing much in here. So Glamour, forgive me, but I have no idea if it's real. It's also a little bit dingy inside. I don't think it is but I could be wrong because I have no idea what to look for I remember something about the seas are you know they're not making out they're just kissing so I feel like it does look like that but I don't know I I don't know if, if I can get anything for it okay so we get some fishnets wait two of them okay so we got fishnet tights the 60s by a brand named Wolford uh, they retail for 40 bucks, so that's interesting. And then we also got some stay up, uh, what are they called? Thigh highs, also fishnets. These are an extra small. The other ones are a small. These retail for 42. Oh, are these German? That's what I, I almost, oh, made in Austria. Because the first language on here in the back is German. So I was wondering about that because the name sounded like vaguely familiar. So don't know if I can sell these or not. Okay, Bikini Cover-Up by Kenny Flowers. Is this showing up? It's been opened, um, but it looks like it's probably new. Okay, so it's really just like a Thai little sarong with a palm leaf pattern. I would argue that this could sell. I don't know for how much. Um, not sure. Uh, I haven't heard of the brand. Or maybe I have and I just forgot. But I don't know. So wrong yet so right is what it says on there. Okay. And I clearly did not fold it up as nicely as it was. I should have just left it in there because it's a cover up. You know, like how exciting can it be? <laughs> anyway, I feel like I'm going to have more than 10 pieces. I already have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's a lot more in here, but we'll see. Uh, not a bad box so far, especially for Arizona. Okay, non-skit non sole snoozies, cozy little Sherpa line socks that retail for 10 bucks. And they fit women's size five to 10. So uh, these are mine, thank you very much. This is why I love fun boxes, because I love getting comfy socks. Okay, what is this brand? I feel like I've seen this, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so it's a hat, a little poof up here, and this is the logo. And the, the tag on the inside only says made in China. And then the material, 100% acrylic. So I don't know if this is anything decent or not. Uh, I have no idea, but we'll look it up. And if you know, let me know in the comments. Ooh, we have Adidas uh, socks, crew socks. Three pairs, shoe size six to 12. They retail for 18 bucks. Men's Adidas socks. I feel like things like this, I can put them on eBay for like, I don't know, 10 bucks and then somebody's gonna offer me seven and I'll, you know, let them go. So that works for me. Okay, we got a Giorgio Armani, new with tags. I'm guessing this was like a gift with purchase because it says something about gift on this tag, but I don't know. So it's like a little wristlet slash like beauty bag, I guess, makeup bag. So it buttons down here, and then it also has a zipper up here. It feels nice. Um, it's definitely brand new, has not been used. So I will probably list this, 
you never know somebody might be looking for it it has tags on it the uh, hardware is still covered so we got this right here and this right here so yep i can work with that okay and the last piece or pieces in here is a pair of oh okay is a pair of pajamas and they're pj salvage so i'm not mad at that uh, especially also because they're a dog print they have some hair on them so you know obviously steam them possibly run them through the wash so doggies all over size medium top size medium bottoms i like that so i don't have to list it in any weird fashion yeah um definitely pre-owned but they feel like they're in good condition they don't look yucky let's uh check the important areas yep they look they look fairly clean one hair clean because i already picked up some hairs uh over here but yeah that is definitely probably probably the best item in the box i would say i mean maybe the coach wristlet is and i just don't know what i'm talking about but according to Glamour signature c coach is not that great so <laughs> i'm gonna say the pajamas are the best part of this box so um i didn't count but i will real quick and then i'll be right back a few moments later okay so i got 12 items if i'm counting the pajamas as one item but these like fishnets and tights as two separate items then i got 12 otherwise it's 11 either way um definitely got more than 10 so that's good I'm, I'm excited i'm happy this was uh one of the better boxes from arizona and i'm definitely happy with that there was plenty of fun in there and plenty of potential to um make my money back slash make some money on this box i will say the fun boxes they go for 32 dollars now and i'm pretty sure i had to pay tax and shipping which i'm not exactly sure why because i'm supposed to be the thread up vit whatever very important thrifter whatever that is um where you don't pay shipping over 25 dollars so i don't know what happened maybe it wasn't logged in i just clicked the dang link and you know tried to snag one real fast so i ended up paying 40 bucks for this box and so with 12 items in there one that i'm definitely keeping and then most others that i'm listing let's say i'm listing 10 and it's still a cost of goods of four dollars per item so i think there's definitely potential to make a profit not a huge one but i am definitely happy with this box and i'm glad that i finally was able to get one janet thank you so much for texting me tirelessly whenever boxes are up even though i usually fail at scoring them and thank you for putting this collab together janet did all the heavy lifting all the leg work organizing this and i'm just showing up and filming so <laughs> thank you so much my friend i'm so glad to be doing this with you and with everybody else in this collab definitely make sure to check out their channels and videos uh, down below linked in my description if their thread up videos for this collab are not up yet make sure to check back um, the next day i'll also leave our schedule to let you know when the videos are going up so if you're watching this later you can check it out and the video might be up already i think this should be very very interesting to see who got a decent box from which location and then we can compare notes afterwards and see which locations are currently the better locations to get a thread up box from ultimately though with those uh, mystery boxes or rescue boxes you always take a risk and you also never know which location you're going to get something from i hope you guys had fun with this fun box if you did make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe if you're not already i would love to have you here and i will see you guys very soon i'm taking a little bit of a youtube break but of course this collab broke me back in so <laughs> i will see you soon within the next week or two with a new video uh, this done cheers